Yes, hello and welcome to Hannibal's Kitchen to another interesting episode today. Today is very experimental because uh, I started a new job this month uh, selling cheese in a big shop and uh, to get into the mood for cheese I was watching some documentaries, I was uh, looking some articles and I, I fall over ice cream with cheese taste. So. But that wasn't enough for me. I made three different uh, ice cream types, which are uh, tomato, basil, lemon and cheese. Uh, I wanted to recreate the taste of a tomato mozzarella salad. A uh, little bit Italian notes in the ice. So um, I can say one of those three kinds were very refreshing, very tasty, very nice for summer. Uh, but two were kind of very special. I would say uh, let's see how we produce that ice cream and see later how we try that ice cream. Here we go. Now, the tomato. <laughs> Like Jillian has told us to, we start with the tomato ice. So, pass tomatoes and tomato paste in a bowl, followed by sour cream and whipped cream. This we are going to season with salt, powder sugar, then we got pepper. I took like four spins, but you could use a little bit more. Um, and then we need lime juice, three tablespoons. The recipe also said some drops of Tabasco. I left this away because I thought it shouldn't be too spicy. Yes, and then we're gonna mix it all through. Taste. And when you agree to the taste, give it in a form. Close it and put it in your freezer and then you gotta stir it through each half hour and that process should be lasting for about four to six hours that you need to stir through every half hour. Of course it's a long process but I don't have an ice machine. Let's get to the cheese ice. Um, like you see we cut the cheese into dices. Um, to give it in a bowl then we spice it with some herbal salt and pepper and also some nutmeg when spiced stir through and add the whipped cream Now we gotta melt the cheese on a water bath, so not too hot. Uh, when the cheese is pulling strings, then we can add the alcohol, because this will help to solve the cheese totally liquid. It takes a little time. That's why the stirring scene is a little bit longer and intense here. When you remove it from the water bath, let it cool down for 30 minutes, but in between you can stir through a little bit for the ice cream is not getting clumpy, so it stays creamy later. Cool down, we're gonna add the buttermilk the yogurt and also one egg and again combine. Now we're gonna let that cool down a bit uh, like 10-15 minutes and we can use that time to chop our walnuts. So when your ice mix is cooled we're gonna add the chopped walnuts stir one more time through and then it's coming actually quite the same like with the tomato ice we're gonna give it to a plastic bowl or form with the lid close it give it to the freezer and stir every 30 minutes 
coming to the basil ice cream. We're gonna cook up sugar and water and let that water simmer for 10 minutes. Uh, meanwhile, you can peel off the lemon skin of a half lemon and squeeze out juice of one lemon. Now we're gonna add the buttermilk to the sugar water. I used 110 sugar water, 110 buttermilk to take some sweetness out. Then you can uh, peel off the leaves of the basil and then we're gonna puree that with sugar, water and buttermilk. Give it into a big bowl and then we're gonna add the yogurt and puree that one more time and as last step we're gonna add the lemon juice and lemon zest combine one more time and then it's the same process like with the ice creams before put it in a form close the lid put it into your freezer and stir it through every 30 minutes about four to six hours I wish I had an ice cream machine making things more simple. So, um, we spend lots of hours by stirring our ice cream every half hour. If you have an ice machine, it's more simple. Maybe it takes only 20 or 30 minutes and not about six to eight hours, but okay. Um, here we go. Um, the basil ice cream was the softest. The second uh, hard getting cream uh, was the tomato ice cream. And the best strong getting ice cream was the cheese ice cream. Surprise. Surprise. Um, yes, I would say we start one more time from, from the left to the right uh, and start with uh, trying our basil ice cream. It's very fresh. It's refreshing. It's very nice for summer actually because it's having lemon, it, it's having the herbal note of, of the basil. It's like a better lemon ice cream. Yes. It has it's a strong lemon taste. Mm. But also basil. Very nice. Very good. Mm. Cheese. <laughs> took the very spicy um, cheeses. They asked me if I want the mild or, or the strong one. So I said the strong one. And it's really this ice having a very strong cheese taste. Which isn't a bad thing. Which isn't a bad thing. Um, yes, and it's surprising that there are no more cheese pieces inside. It's only nut pieces. And they work very well with mm. cheese. It's That's just a really crazy um, feeling mm -hmm. to eat a cheese ice. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. But it's good. Very good. So we get someone red left here in the right corner, uh, which is the tomato ice cream. which is very creamy, mm. also very fresh. I guess I could say that about every ice cream. Hey, it's fresh. <laughs> um, yes, but it's a, a very comfort, fruity, vegetable taste. It's very close to tomato juice and not as unusual to taste ice cream with tomato flavor. Yes. A 
And now what we need to do is to try the combination because it could taste a little bit like a tomato mozzarella salad. Delicious. <laughs> it's very good. Mm. Still sweet. Yes, that's the only annoying thing that we had to do. This one was sugar. I guess without sugar, maybe without lemon, it would taste more like this salad and with more basil. Maybe I will try that one one more time, but without sugar. And with more basil. That's a good idea. And no lemon. Maybe it'll taste exactly like the salad. Yes. Just ice cream. So I'll try it one more time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, mm. try some mozzarella cheese with, with the tomato ice cream. Okay. Wow. Um, Thank you for joining me again. Please subscribe to my channel. Share my links on Facebook. We reached 8,000. Uh, <laughs> 8,000. Um, we reached 800 subscribers. Please make it more. Um, share my links. Have a look on my Instagram. See you next time. With any more crazy ideas. On Hannibal's kitchen. <laughs> Ciao. Hello and welcome. <laughs>